Today we're gonna make some really fun and easy to do lemon mascarpone crepes. Here are the ingredients that you need. Get that all together and let's get started. That mascarpone is the homemade one that we did just a week or so ago. So in my stand mixer here, I'm gonna add in all that mascarpone, about a cup basically. Then add in your brown sugar, zest of lemon, which is gonna add a really nice freshness and fragrance into that mascarpone filling. Then go ahead and add lemon juice, some vanilla extract, put the head of the mixer down and then start mixing away. You wanna mix this until the consistency is forming soft peaks. Now, if your mascarpone is thicker than what I have, then you might need to add a couple splashes of heavy cream to thin it out because the final consistency that you want is something that's spreadable because we want it to be a nice, smooth, and creamy filling. Just cover that up and let that chill while you prepare your crepe batter. Now for the crepes, use flour or gluten-free one-to-one flour. Then add in your eggs. Then add in your milk, some salt for seasoning, and then sugar for sweetness. And the rest of that lemon zest from earlier, put that in there as well. Start whizzing until it's well combined. Should take just a few seconds, then grab that and stuff it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. What chilling that crepe batter does is it helps to thicken it slightly. So when you are cooking with it, it takes some time for it to start cooking because it's chilled. So you have time to spread it out and it is much smoother once cooled down. I've done a number of recipes on crepes. This is one of them, but you can check out the others linked down below as well. Now to prepare the crepes, get a non-stick pan, your best one, and then melt in some butter. Then pour in some of that crepe batter. You can use a ladle as well, and a lot of times you can spread it out using one of those cake spatulas as well. I just prefer to quickly twirl the pan around to get that perfect even spread. Then you let that cook until the underside has naturally released from the pan, just like over here. And a thin spatula here is really helpful. You can even use your hands to then flip the actual crepe, get that beautiful color on the outside. Just take a look at that, it's gonna smell amazing. And then just cook the underside for about 30 seconds or so. Then slide that off, do the same thing again and again and again. I did that about five times. One of them ended up becoming a quick snack. Now, dust each crepe as you're stacking it with some powdered sugar. That's gonna help prevent it from getting stuck when you put the next warm crepe on top. Then once your crepes are ready, it's time to fill it and put like two huge dollops of it right down the middle. If you're basically making cannolis or cigars out of these crepes, so then roll it tightly, firmly, but make sure you don't put pressure to like get the stuffing to squeeze out. You wanna be gentle when you roll, so avoid squeezing. So you're gonna have a couple of them on your plate. Garnish with some fresh lemon slices. It's really nice, squeeze on top as you're having it. I'm gonna garnish that one last time with a bit of powdered sugar. And these are gonna be the best summertime lunch recipes or even brunch for this season. It's just the most refreshing and the most delightful crepe breakfast or brunch or lunch that you can have. And honestly, while you can stuff it in your mouth like an animal, just with your hands, it's much more satisfying to cut these delicate crepes and scoop up that filling with a fork and a knife. It just is a different experience. If you want more lemony thing for this summer, check out my salmon lemon pasta. It's amazing. 